as always, this channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. All right, we're going to be real quick about this. I took the power supply off. Next thing I'm going to do is disconnect the filament, and then I'm going to take off the top crossbar by unscrewing the bolts that go down, and then remove the motor and remove the two standing arms from the bolts that come up from the bottom. So um, you don't see a lot of that. This is not really what this video is about. I mean, this is just changing out two simple pieces, basically, the two that rise on both sides, and the ones I'm going to put on are longer. Um, this video is more about the actual modification that you need to make to the printer itself and that is not the physical one. The one that you need to worry about is the modification you're going to make to the firmware because without that, um, none of this works. So I'm pretty sure most people can figure out the gist of the hardware. Um, I just installed the two tall brackets. I'm attaching the lead screw to the X gantry and I'm going to remove the top crossbar here one more time, slide the gantry on get everything set up. Um, I was planning on doing a little bit longer video of the assembly and disassembly, but uh, I have these nice new cameras and keep getting horrible camera angles, so um, I'm working on that. I need a little more space. We're going to rearrange things here soon, but uh, I'm sick of showing people my backside. So um, We are speeding through most of it and editing most of this out. The important part is going to be here. Um, when we reach the end of the assembly process and get to the firmware adjustment because there's a couple things you need to do um, You are going to need to flash a bootloader to your Ender 3 if you haven't done that yet I personally used an AVR ISP Mark II and It is possible to do with an Arduino Uno board as well. It's a very simple process I do have a video for it. I can put a link up and I'll put it up right here now that I've got everything pretty much assembled, I'm going to hit the home All right, button. now we are in Arduino IDE, and one of the things that we need to do is open our configuration backend.h file uh, and do a edit find next Ender 3. Basically, you're looking for this section right here, if enabled Ender 3. This defines the bed size and the Zmax position. The Zmax position is what we're going to change. We are actually going to change it to 500 first. We are not actually gonna go all the way to 500, but once we have set it to 500, we can go in and adjust by one millimeter increments, 10 millimeter increments, our Z height, and find out exactly how high it'll go. So in order to do that, we need to hit uh, sketch, verify, compile. It'll double check it, and then we will upload it to the Ender 3 here. That should allow us to raise the height up as high as we need to. Now, like I said, we don't want to leave this at 500 because it's not going to go all the way to 500. And we don't want to uh, travel off the top of the lead screw, which doesn't go all the way up. So we are going to make some adjustments here. Uh, sketch is almost compiled. It does take a minute. It's not too long. Um, once it's done compiling, we'll go to sketch and upload. And now it is compiling for the upload. It'll upload it. Give me just a second, and I'll show you when we're all done here. All right, now we are writing. So um, when this process is done, we should be good to go to disconnect the Ender 3 and check out how high we can get it to travel. And AVR dude done. Thank you. No, uh, thank you, AVR dude. All right, so let's transition over here and make sure that things are working properly. Um, I don't have the machine turned on right now because it's running on the power from the port, so we're gonna disconnect. We're gonna turn the Ender 3 on. And I got that nice TH3D logo. You can't see it here, but it's, it's popping up. Um, we are gonna change that. I'll show you in another video how to put a custom, uh, custom boot image on your Ender 3 here. For right now, though, we are going to go to control, no, excuse me, prepare, move axis, actually, we're going to auto home first so we can ensure that we're at the bottom. Now we're going to go to move axis. And we are going to move on the Z. We're going to do 10 millimeter increments. 
We're going to go right up to 300 right away. So that'll pass that 250 mark that we were stuck at, ensure that our firmware changes have taken place, and get us pretty close to where we want to start going by 10 millimeter increments to see how high we can get up here. Now this process obviously is going to take a minute, it takes a little bit for the Ender 3 to rise and we're going to have to run through it a couple times. So bear with me and we will get the exact height allowable. The other thing I, I am worried about here is I haven't added extenders to my cables. So they do reach to the top of the lead screw, but it's going to get very close. So I'm not going to quite utilize the top inch or two of the lead screw. We should get about a 400 millimeter total here. All right, now we are at 300 millimeters. We're gonna go up 320, 350, 400. Came back down a little bit. The cable was getting a little, little taut there, so we are gonna make some adjustments here. Alright, so we are at 410 and it looks like we're going to stop there for right now. Looks like I could make it all the way up to 500, but as you can see those cables, I don't want them to get completely taut. There is a little bit of relief there still, and I like it that way. So we are going to plug the Ender 3 back in, and we are going to adjust our max height. We are running at 410 at the moment. And we will need to compile and upload that one more time. So I'm going to go ahead and plug back in here. And now that we've done that, we will upload one more time. Um, after this, we should be good to print up to 410 millimeters. Uh, I will get some cable extensions. We'll come back in and it'll be an easy switch to upgrade to get that last 90 millimeters. But for now, we have almost doubled our height capacity, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, thanks again to Corey Ann for sending me this mod. She's been very, very helpful. Uh, she also sent me the dual Z-Screw mod that I put onto the TiVo Tarantula. And there is an easy, able, automatic bed leveler around here somewhere as well that will be thrown on the Ender 3 at some point too. So uh, I appreciate all the contributions that she has made. And we are now writing... When this is complete, we'll go into Kira and we will slice up a really tall vase and get to printing something, uh, and that will wrap it up for this video. Uh, I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking it out. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comments. If this video was helpful to you or you enjoyed watching it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and it looks like AVR Dude is all done. So let's slice something and print it up. All right, well... We are done printing our vase, and here it is. Just kidding. This is the normal size vase that we print, okay? Um, just to show you, before I updated the firmware, the max height capability of the Ender 3 before this upgrade, this is the model that I'm about to show you, except this one didn't complete. This one stopped at the 
Z Max for the stock under three, which is 250 millimeters. Now, um, you can see if you look at the top here that it stopped rising but kept printing. So it kept laying down filament and it eventually knocked it loose from the bed. Obviously, didn't finish the model. That is even with these extra tall braces on here. Um, and that is because without that firmware update, it obviously won't go higher than the max height. So um, this is the finished product. Somewhat ridiculous, I know. It is rather huge um, compared to the other one. If you look, it fits quite, quite nicely inside there. Um, yeah. This is ridiculously huge. Uh, came out to 410 millimeters, which is what I wanted. Um, that's the maximum height of my setup right now. So that is my Z Max in my firmware right now because I don't want to put too much tension on these cables and I haven't gotten the cable extenders yet. So I obviously don't want to yank anything out of the board or out of any of the pieces up here. So I want to make sure that it doesn't get too tight. So 410 millimeters is still quite a bit. This thing is enormous um, and it is almost doubled my print capacity I mean uh, the full 500 would be doubling the the height um, and we'll get there as soon as we get those extenders put on we'll just go in and we'll make another update to the firmware so this mod was pretty simple pretty straightforward pretty much just replacing these two bars here on the z-axis and the lead screw in the back with longer ones and then you need to make that adjustment to the firmware and you can print stuff like this I think I'm gonna make a lamp. Not a hat, a lamp. It actually looks kinda of cool. Uh, throw a couple little lights in here, find a funky shade, mount a bulb. It's my wife's idea, but I like it, so we'll see. If it happens, I'll put it up, but uh, that's basically it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this mod, leave a like down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here and smash that bell for notifications. You'll get updates every time we do a video like this. I do a lot of videos, so you'll be getting a lot of notifications. We'll see you in the next one, guys. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it for my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.